Welcome to a session on interview skills. Interviews are an integral part of any selection process. Whether we like it or not, we have to face it. And if we have to face it, why not be prepared for it? Today, we are going to talk about what's so important in making or marring an interview, those first few minutes. But before we really move on to those first few minutes, let's talk about what interview is. Why is that conducted? Is it to eliminate us or is it to find out? what we know and how we know. Believe me, interview is not an elimination process. It is an assimilation process. We do not try to know the people, the interviewer. They are not there to find out what you do not know. They are there to find out what you know and how well can you use it in their business in their workplace. They test you how you would approach a problem, an issue, whether you are methodical about it or are you creatively supporting it. And therefore, it is important that you let them know what you know. If you wish to buy time, you can tell them but do not fake or beat around the bush. Be sincere and that is the foremost thing for an interview. Because the interviewers have been there, done that. How you initiate an interview is also very important. When you enter the chamber, you need to greet everybody cheerfully and yet professionally. Wait for them to ask you to seat yourself comfortably and then seat yourself comfortably. What happens next? The first thing they ask you is, tell us something about yourself. Now, if we are not prepared with our answers, what we do is we rattle. We talk about things which are there in our resume. If we start talking about our family, we end up giving all the details about our family. And that is why it is extremely important that you prepare yourself for a couple of questions which you know would be asked in the interview. Tell us something about yourself. You should prepare. And the answer to it should be as per the organization you have applied for. The second one is, why this organization and what are your strengths and weaknesses? It's quite cliche to say that this particular thing is my weakness and I'm doing these things to work upon it. We need to think about something which we are actually doing, we are practicing. Why this organization? This would mean that you know something about the organization, that you have tried to find out what that organization stands for, the vision of the organization, because that leaves a good impression on the interviewer. However, do not memorize these answers. Because if you memorize them, it's as though you are rattling, parroting something, up your conversational. And again, I would say, do not attempt any manipulation. Whatever is there in your resume could make a question, frame a question. So your resume and what you answer for tell us something about yourself should be properly thought of. The clinchers are content, apt and appropriate 
language, body language and confidence and sincerity. Content definitely is one of the most important aspect in a selection process. At the same time, when you are applying post your graduation years, more or less most of the candidates would be at the same platform over there. As I said previously, your approach to a problem matters much. You would have or you would come across a situation when midway while solving a problem, they would ask you to leave it because they have seen that you are taking the right approach. Language is an extremely important aspect in interview skills. You need to be professional, you need to be conversational. What do I mean by saying professional? Be objective. You cannot be very emotional when you are answering a particular question. You may have faced a lot of things during your studies, but that does not figure in your interview. Your body language has to be very positive and it should show that you are inclined towards joining the organization if given a chance. 